Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. The communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Um, we will once again be using the second penitential act. And the two responses are, um, for we have sinned against you. And the, and the second one is, and grant us your salvation. Once again, um, the two responses are, for we have sinned against you and grant us your salvation. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined, without sadness or compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, he scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You are being enriched in every way for all generosity, which through us produces thanksgiving to God. The word of the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. This is a man who is. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. This is a man who fears the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia. Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret. And your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners, so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. As your fa and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance, so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to others to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will, will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. In our Gospel today, Jesus basically tells us to, to not show off, to not have spiritual pride. When we pray or do righteous acts, when we do good deeds, he's saying don't flaunt it to others. Um, it's, and it's funny because this happens a lot in our, in our church, not in this church, I mean the, the greater church as our faith, or just even Christians in general, not just Catholics. This happens a lot, and Jesus had to say this 2,000 years ago, so it happened back then too. And that's because when we do something good, it's nice to receive recognition. It's nice for people to acknowledge that. Like, oh, good job, you did this, or, or good job, um, you know, giving to the poor, or, or serving this ministry. And that's nice. But sometimes when we do something, a good act, we do it seeking these affirmations or these words of praise from others. And that's when Jesus says to be careful. Because then we don't do the, these acts just because they're a good act, just because we want to be good Christians and follow Jesus. But we do it for selfish reasons. We do these selfless acts for selfish, selfish reasons. And so that's something that Jesus is telling us to be very careful about. When we do these things and we want recognition and we want people to acknowledge us or we want to show off, it comes from our human weakness. And so it's good to just be aware of that so that if we start falling in those temptations or we, have, or we fell in those temptations before, just to be aware so we can do our best to not do these things uh, uh, next time. And so Jesus just tells us very simply, he says, take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. The acts are still good, good things. If you help the poor or, or things like that, or if you're kind to others, it's still a good thing. But don't flaunt it. And Jesus says, when we pray, don't show it off. Pray in secret. And he says, and your Father will see you praying in secret. And that's the only thing. That's the only one that matters, that knows that we are praying, that knows that we are doing these righteous acts. And so today, let us reflect on this point that Jesus is giving us today. And let us ask ourselves, what are some times when I showed off on purpose? Or maybe without even knowing it because I wanted recognition more than doing the act because it is good. More than doing the act 
because I'm a follower of God, because I want to follow the example of Jesus. And one of these other times when I did these acts, knowing that I would get recognition, and how can I, moving forward, just, just in life, work on not showing off, but just doing these acts, because Jesus said to do them. So we reflect on that today. And we give thanks to God for our ability to do these righteous acts. But we also ask God for his strength in avoiding doing them in the wrong way, seeking attention of, or praise of others. Because the only one whose attention and praise matters to us is our God. Please remain seated. Today's Mass is being offered for the special intention of Father Riz Carranza and for the repose of the souls of Jesus Hurtado and Laden Buntich. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
we enter the time for Holy Communion, um, just a few of the regular communion announcements. Um, uh, since I'll be the only Eucharistic minister, um, first I'll be distributing communion to this side, starting from the front. So I ask for patience from this side. Once I finish communion with this side, then I'll begin distributing communion on this side from the front um, as well. Um, other than that, we ask that you please keep your masks on, um, especially um, as, you, as your turn comes up. And extend your arms as best you can. Um, once you receive communion, then you may take a few steps to the side to take off your mask and consume the Eucharist and return um, to your seat for the rest of Mass. Thank you.
as this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.